Hello Sanage and Mod users. Today I'd like to talk to you about doing an Android backup. An Android backup is a complete system image of everything on our device. Everything from our apps, our files, to our very setup. So our desktop and setup like this, it will all be loaded up and it'll be exactly how we left it. Now if you're already using Sanage and Mod, this is part of the recovery, so this is already included with Cyanogen Mod, and this is a very handy way to back up as it's free and easy to do. Now let me talk to you a little bit about how to do it. Now I'm going to show you how to do this in both Clockwork Mod and TWRP2, which are the two different recovery modules right now for Cyanogen Mod. So I'm going to reboot my device. Now you should select Recovery, which will take you straight there, but I'm going to do Bootloader. Now the reason why I'm going to do this is because I have both recovery modules installed at once. Now this is not recommended, don't try this at home. But for the sake of this video, it'll make it one continuous shot and it'll save us time. And we'll be prepared to try out both. If you'd like to learn more about TWRP, click the link above. I'm going to start with Clockwork Mod as this is what comes by default with Cyanogen Mod. Here we are. Now simply scroll down with the volume button to back up and restore and select it with the home button. As soon as we hit the home button again, we're already on backup, it will back up. Now this will take a considerable period of time, so be prepared to wait and make sure your device has plenty of power or is plugged in and charging when you're doing this. Restore will immediately do my restore. If I go to Advanced Restore, I can select individual parts of my backup. Here's my backup, I can select it, and I can restore individual parts like the boot system, the data, the cache, and the text. I'm going to go back, and that's how you do it. It's very simple and easy, and you'll simply make the backup it's recommended to do when you're updating Cyanogen Mod, and you'll be ready to go anytime. I'm going to reboot my system and show you the TWRP way to back up. TWRP2 had an update recently which brought in a keyboard into the XML layout, which is a very handy thing to have and very impressive in this particular setup. Here's the big team win reveal. Now it's quite a bit more touch friendly here. To make the backup, we'll simply click backup and here we can actually select individually the different parts of the backup. Backup files here can be up to two gigabytes, which is quite large. All you'll really need is the system and the data. And here, if we go to set backup name, we can see the new keyboard. And we can name it. Quite a handy tool. Thank you, Team Win. Once we've created our backup, simply go back. We can go back by hitting home or back and go to restore. Here I have my backup. I'll simply need to select it and swipe to bring the restore. I'm going to reboot. Now it's recommended to do this when you update your ROM. It's good to have one just in case anything goes wrong. I'm going to reboot into my system. Please subscribe to see helpful tutorials like this in the future. And I'd like to show you my Just Droidsons boot animation created by me. This is the Droidsons, the Simpsons, if they were quote unquote droid people. You can download this in the description. It's formatted for a touchpad device. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.